Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Badina and I'm the co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Badina, who's behind the camera. If you turn around in your room, you will see her behind that. Ah, oh, there she is! Ah, uh, welcome Michelle! Um, so today I'm giving you a few tips about shoulder rests. Now the good thing about shoulder rests is a couple of things. When I've set up a violin, made all the parts for it and that sort of thing, if I play the violin without the shoulder rest, it sounds a certain way because I do have the, my shoulder clamping the back of the violin. And when I put a shoulder rest on, the violin actually does sound more open to me. I know there's a lot of teachers out there who try to get their students to not have a shoulder rest because they think it gets them closer to the violin and produces a better sound. I actually think the opposite after the thousands of violins that I've set up, when I put those shoulder rests on, it sounds better to me. So I like the sound of a shoulder rest. Also, obviously, you know, the idea of a shoulder rest is that when you have your violin up here, there is a gap under here. And if you don't have a shoulder rest, you're, you know, maybe clamping down and it's not very tasty for your neck. Um, this is a Kun collapsible shoulder rest. It's one of our most popular ones. And so you put it on, you put one side on the violin there and you slide the other side on like that. And it sits there and then you plonk it up on your shoulder and it fills that gap perfectly. Uh, with this Kun com collapsible shoulder rest for me, it comes about level to my shoulder there. Some people will have it quite high, some people will have it quite low. If you have it quite low like that, you tend to have to put your neck forward. I like it to be pretty much right at the end of the shoulder rest. And also my violin is sticking out at about 45 degrees, which is good. So uh, another tip, some people have trouble with their shoulder rest slipping off. Often that is because they are having trouble with their shoulder rest slipping off and so they put it on really tightly. They have it so this foot is in really further in this way, they undo this, put it in really closely, so that they can push and push and push and push it and make it on really tightly and they think that will make it more stable. It actually does the opposite because as you're pulling it on tighter and tighter, these legs are flaring out a little bit and it's causing it to become more unstable. Often when people come in with especially a kun shoulder rest that's slipping, I will loosen this one completely, take it off, move this out one setting, put this little guy back on, and then put it on. And it sits there more lightly, but it's a lot less likely to come off because those legs aren't, aren't sort of splaying out like that. So that is a really, really good tip. Thank you very much, Richard. Well done. You're great. Um, okay, uh, a good thing about these kun shoulder rests is that once they're on, they actually tilt inward and outward, which is something that a lot of those other shoulder rests don't do. And if, for instance, a lot of the shoulder rests are very flat like that, if you have it like that, it leaves a little bit of a gap under here. The idea of the Kun shoulder rest is I can tilt that inward and now it's sitting completely flat on my shoulder. So that is pretty cool. Yeah, the things I like about these shoulder rests, they hold the violin up on your shoulder. You don't have to clamp down as much with your neck and I think it improves the tone. So I suggest that you buy many of these, possibly a thousand. That'll last you at least a lifetime. If you want some more awesome videos like that awesome video, what are you going to do? Subscribe, of course. And while you're there, why not give us a like? Uh, you can also follow us on Insta and Facebook through the links in the description down below, down there. You see them? Do it now. Do it. All right, just do it later. That's fine. After the video. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.